Hi there, it's Mary from stampingmary.stampingup.net. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is week two of the seven weeks of Christmas videos and I'm featuring the Reindeer Fun Bundle. This is a fabulous, fabulous suite of products that is in the Stamping Up Mini catalogue. Here it is, right here, that's the front of the catalogue. And the Reindeer Fun Bundle is, you can buy just the stamp set, the stamp and the dies, you can buy the whole suite which will get you the stamps, the dies, these adorable gift boxes, um, the most fantastic real red and white baker's twine and the peppermint adhesive dots it's just really a great stamp set if you're just looking for one suite for christmas um, paper crafting this might be the one we're going to be using the designer series paper in here today as well uh, it's on pages 26 and 27 of the annual catalog of the mini catalog i should say we're going to make this little cute little gift bag here it is right here very easy to make um, and just using a couple of the stamps and dies that are in this um, the suite of dies there are so many dies in here I mean, you know you just there's so many that's the little tree die we're going to be using today it has these adorable little bells as well and the little bell dies are somewhere around here but they are here somewhere because <laughs> oh i know where they are they're right here that's them there very cute. Anyway, let's go ahead and get it made. And um, I'll talk a little bit about the products. Now, I have put all the, all the links to all the products in the description bar below, um, as along with the dimensions for this bag. So let's go ahead and make it. This piece of, um, this designer series paper is 12 by 12, and I'll just cut it down to 6 by 12. So you can get two bags from one which is always good. Now we're going to come along and put our paper in on the long side. Um, if you, this is directional paper, obviously, so I want the bottom of, I don't want my deer to be going in the opposite direction, the wrong way, up, up, upside down, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to score the bottom of it first, um, and I'm going to score that at one and a half. Yeah, and so this is the short side and then turn it around to that long side this is going to be the top of the bag this will be the bottom of the bag I'm going to score it at one and a half five and a half seven and a, uh, seven and eleven there we go bone folder okay and just fold and burnish that's the other side of that paper it would make a very cute bag as well I just really like these little reindeer so I'm going to go with those so I'm just folding and scoring folding on all those score, scored lines I make, I make this bag all the time, so it's a good size, good size gift bag, very easy to make. All right, so we have our design, we have it cut out right here, sorry, we have it positioned here, so the bag actually goes together like that, so that shorter piece is going to fold around here, and then we're going to cut away this smaller rectangle square down the bottom here on the as I'm looking at it, as it's facing me on my right. Just grab the paper slips. I'm going to cut this whole one away. To there. And then we're just going to wedge, uh, sorry, cut up to that horizontal line. And then I like to fold those ones up and out of the way. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of wedging on these tabs. You don't have to. I just think it makes it go together a little bit easier. So that's what it is going to look. It looks like, right? Do you, all these tabs folded down. 
grab your adhesive now and just put some adhesive down this right hand side just using stamp and seal and then fold it over to here oops there's an easier way to do this <laughs> just fold it Apologize for making it look harder than it is. It really is not. Just trying to get, I just want to get a nice even finish on that. And for some reason it doesn't want to do it. Here we go. I got it. I got it. Okay. So that's that, where that seam is. I always like that to be the back of my bag or my box. I'm going to fold these pieces in. Fold that. Uh, fold the front one in, the two sides, and then the top. That's where that seam is. That's my back. So we're going to put some adhesive on here, here, and here. Yeah, a bit there. You really don't actually need to put any on here because it is going to be able, it will hold in. So we'll just do it like that. So start again, fold in, fold in. You can put adhesive on there. Perhaps we just will put a little bit down. The tape doesn't want to go. There we go. made very easy um, you can pinch the sides if you wanted to um, sort of give it more of a you know like a bag look but we're just going to keep it this way for this example the next so that's the bag or bag or box the, tr the holder if you like that's it made let's pop that to one side and bring in now a piece of basic white this is thick basic white and I've used one of the nested essential dies for this we're going to stamp in real red the christmas is better together sentiment and i just recently re-inked this one so it should be really nice and red my real red ink pad right out of the way because we do not want that to be everywhere all right so now it's just a matter of building building it up I've gone ahead and stamped the tree die and die cut using the um the, the, the stamp I've gone ahead and stamped using the tree stamp and die cut using the tree die which is also featured in the suite I'm going to pop one behind and then I'm going to layer these on top of each other now i've gone ahead already and put some wink of stella on this one i hope it's you can see it sort of gives it a little bit of glimmer i'm going to do the same for this one just to give it a bit of interest so this is shaded spruce and this one here is cut on um, stamped in granny apple green on granny apple green so i'm going to put a little bit of tape on the back of on this one it's going at the back we're only going to see the top of this one peeking out just a little bit whoops so let's pop that in the back right there we might need to reposition it ever so slightly but we'll see how we go then our two trees will come here and then one will go here further down towards the bottom if i can get them that way all right I'm going to put a little bit of, um, how am I going to do it? I want, I want them slightly um, off-centred. So let's put some tape on this one. And then just, just so it's one slightly taller than the other, not too much. And then... Some more tape use whatever you want 
liquid glue would probably be a little bit better, but I'm getting it as close to the sentiment as possible. I don't think I've got that quite in the right place, so let's just pop that up a little bit more. This is really just the top of it I want poking out. Just, just for something a bit different. Okay, here's our two trees. Now I've gone ahead and die cut the two little um, baubles just sitting in the die and I cut them on real red. Pop them out and that's one die but it cuts out two. One's slightly bigger than the other. Cute. I think they're so cute. So cute. Right. I'm going to use some, this is the um, satin edged ribbon. I have a feeling this may be retired. But whatever ribbon you've got, um, the, um, you know, something festive that you feel coordinates nicely would be perfect. Let's make a little bow. And spend hours getting it right. I'm going to do that today. How many of you spend ages getting your bows perfect? Sometimes I do. More often than not, I spend ages getting my bows perfect. I'm just bringing in um, my blue dots right now. And I'm going to pop my ugly dot directly down on there. Down to you know, these glue dots are great, but they do stick to everything. They're so strong. Okay, so let's just pop that. Let's put the ribbon on the side there. Okay. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is position my little, um, the, the baubles, the Christmas baubles on there as well. And I'm going to use um, another glue dot. You won't see these because we're going to put a little bit of um, twine over the top now. So let's pop one there, just slightly off centered, and one there. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in the real red and white baker's twine which is part of this suite of products like another little bow okay. here we go i think that's so cute um and then another glue dot if you want to use glue dot use your tombow if you are if you feel that's easier Okay, and then a little bow just there. Right. Now I'm going to position my glue dot. I'm going to pop my um, dimensionals onto the back. Here we go. You could put your dimensionals directly onto the um, your box if you wanted to. Um, it's a little bit harder when there's nothing inside it. I should have it full of Christmas treats, really, shouldn't I? <laughs> if you like traditional colours, the like traditional Christmas red and greens, then. But you know what, this would work for anything, any color, any colors. So I'm just positioning that. Right in the middle. Probably help if I had the backing of all the dimensionals. Yeah, it would be easier if there was something inside here. <laughs> You 
nearly finished. I've got that one a bit low, my original. It's okay. These are the um, Tinsel Gems 4-packs. These uh, were carried over from last Christmas, actually. So I'm really happy because they are really cute little... Um, uh, they're really cute. And they've got... They have got a little bit of tinsel in, in them. You, it's possibly a little bit um, hard to see on the video, but they actually have got a little bit of a... A shine. Let's pop another one in here. So I've got one there on top of that little bow, one there, and then another three there. Let's just do a little bit of trimming of that ribbon. It's a tiny bit long. And I think we are finished. In fact, we are. So there you have it, a, a little Christmas gift bag using the Reindeer Fun Bundle. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have oops, any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, stampingmary at gmail.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.